Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 2216, Wednesday, May the 8th. It is Walkthrough Wednesday. In this video, we are doing a Faction Trials Challenge. We're going to be doing Cultist 12, only epics and rare champions. No lords, no legendaries. Well, there's an asterisk on that, but we'll get to that in the video. Let's get to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we are doing cultists tonight. So while we navigate, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Trial of the cultists, stage 12, power of dominance is turned off, clear the stage with the soul core intact and deploy three fighters. That's why we had the asterisk earlier because if we go to the champion selection screen here, cultists don't have very many fighters. We have Cyrene and Aatrox, which are epics, we can use them. But then the other only other fighters that cultists have are Uridin and Cerberus, both legendary, right? So I have to deploy Cerberus technically to get three stars, but I won't use him to kill anything. So, cause the point of the run is, is epics and rares. They can do work. So, so this is the team, no Lords, no legendaries we're using for damage or anything. And uh, I'll walk you through the run, exactly how it works and why we do what we do. And then I will show the gear on the back end for those that are interested. Let's get to it. Pardon my uh, office. We're in temporary housing and the kids are asleep and I have nowhere to record, so I'm outside. Iona goes down first. Jorge is next. Jorge is in an invigoration set to give Iona an extra 10% attack. Cyrene goes down next to start generating cost. Once Iona can ult, she does. I should probably put it on one time speed because I already feel like I'm going to miss something. After Cyrene goes down, we throw Voltus up top. Put it on. Keep trying to speed through on two times speed. Voltus takes out those top waves, that top wave by himself. We get greed on the board thanks to Cyrene generating some extra cost. We are not dependent on Cyrene generating extra cost through uh, the Lucky Legacy, I believe it's called, the artifact. But if it happens, it's, uh, it's a nice little bonus. It makes everything come together a little bit quicker. Hollow goes down next. She's also in Invigoration to give greed an extra 10% attack. And here's where we have to start uh, finagling just a little bit. So, Greed is going to need a little bit of help. So the way that I'm going to help him is with Aatrox. But I need Aatrox in the middle of that mob. That way when he dies instantly, uh, his little pool of death hits everyone around him and it'll help Greed out the most. Hollow's healing just fine from those flying fish. And then thanks to Aatrox helping out, Greed does his job just fine. If your Greed wasn't quite as strong, you could throw Aatrox down a second time to help out again here. We can also put Nero up top to help out Voltus, even though he doesn't really need it. Now right here, these fish, once they get to that that platform, we're going to place Eleucus down to freeze and slow them to give Iona extra time to kill them with her basics so she doesn't have to ult. We want to save her ult. Nero and Voltus took out the top without even ulting. We don't need Cyrene. Same thing, Greed is gonna need some help down bottom. So we're gonna wait until the mob actually gets in position to where Aatrox can go down and help hit all six of them. This is where over on the right, the monsters that are attacking our defender 
they are now about to die and split into, I think, five monsters apiece. So they will very quickly overrun him. This is where I need Iona's ult, where she does big damage and big slows. And the reason I saved her ult from earlier is because now the second flying mob is coming. So if I save it, she can take out both mobs at the same time with her ult. So I ult with Iona. She starts hitting everyone. Doing absolute work. Now I need more time for Iona to get her ult again. So I need to place Elucas up top to freeze those mobs before they come down. I need Aatrox a second time on the second wave here to help out. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. That is probably the thumbnail for this video. So Elucas is freezing and slowing the mob on the right so that Iona can regain her ult. Throw Aatrox down, get a little extra damage there. He Lucas did his job, he slowed down that mob. Now they're all starting to die. Ult with Iona. Guys up top are done. I don't need them, they won't do anything. And now we're really just worried about the mob on bottom. As you can see, Iona's taking out everyone on the right. We're going to throw down a fighter just to help slow down just a little bit. Just do a single attack. That's fine. But greed's slow and damage. Let's throw Aatrox down again. That's the run. That is the run. Oh, technically, I need Cerberus on the board to get three stars. So Cerberus went down. He didn't do any damage. But uh, there we go. Only epics and rares. No legendaries and no lord bonus. Man, killing it. Killing it, killing it, killing it. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm not gonna update my, my run for that, but now I'm gonna go check out the gear, right? This is epics, this is rares. Um, there's no lords, right? It's more gear intensive, obviously, but we're gonna go over that. It's gonna be a good time. If you're not interested in the gear, thank you so much for your time. Please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you're hanging out for the gear, let's go there. All right, let's go to cultists. Cerberus, I didn't use him, it doesn't matter. Iona. Iona's in, what is that, Wisdom? Yep, Wisdom, a Wisdom set. So everyone, these sets, I didn't build them specifically for this. I just swapped sets from other champs that I had geared, and it worked out. 12.6 uh, attack, 310 attack speed, crit cap 326 and a half. Crit damage, max tier of Twilight. Skills max. Awaken 5, obviously. Greed, same thing. Awaken 5, skills maxed. Max tier of Twilight. Gear, he is in a curse set with 13.4 attack, 298 attack speed, crit capped with 297.5 crit damage. Doing work. Hollow, she's in an invigoration set. I forgot to put an artifact on her. That matters much less for her. Obviously, she's not. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back to cultists. Hollow. Fully awakened, fully skilled, gear, invigoration set. She's an attack uh, based healer, so we've got 11.5k attack, 540 attack speed, with uh, 146 healing effect and 50% rage regen. Way over the top. You would not need that. I just swapped the set from my Elowen. Aatrox is also in an Invigoration set. Um, honestly forgot he was in it. I could have used that, but oh well. Max skills, max awakened. He's in a max lunacy visor. And his gear is 11-2 attack, 306 attack speed. I don't think attack speed matters on him. Crit cap with 248 and a half crit damage. Cyrene is in uh, 
Infernal Roar, which obviously does not matter. She's not doing anything. She's not killing anything. She's not gener she's not doing anything other than generating cost, right? So we have a Lucky Legacy on her. There's a chance if you're doing this with, you know, um, lesser gear, obviously, then you would need, you may need to get champs out quicker. And maybe you could throw her down uh, instead of Jorge to start generating cost faster. So there's some leeway there to do that if you're actually banking on the RNG of Lucky Legacy. But all she's there for is to generate cost. But for the heck of it, 11-2 attack, 391 attack speed, crit cap, 252 crit damage. Mr. Jorge himself, um, he's in a max bastion ring. Oh my gosh, why am I, did I do that twice? That's crazy. I apologize. I apologize. He is fully awakened. I threw some awakening crystals into him. Um, have not skilled him up yet, though. So partially skilled. He's in an invigoration set. Like I said, 70,000 HP, 7,000 defense. 21% mm, rage regen. That's what we care about for him as a defender. And that's it. That was... Oh, no, the rares. The rares. Voltus. Infernal Roar. 10k attack, 386 attack speed, crit cap 373 and a half crit damage, max skills, max awakened, one of the few rares that can actually be awakened. Come on, Moonton, let us awaken all of our rares, at the very least. We can't hardly use them for anything, at least let us awaken them. And then we've got a base tier of twilight on him. Nero is in a max tier of twilight, fully awakened, fully skilled. Infernal Roar, 11.5 attack, 2.81 attack speed, crit cap 240.5 crit damage. Elucas, broken set. He was doing some damage, but uh, he was mostly there for his crowd control, right? We used him for his slows, for his freezes. It helps a lot to give Iona extra time. Uh, just shy of 10k attack, 3.64 attack speed, Crit cap, two, four, six and a half crit damage, 20% rage regen, max skills, max awakened, and again, forgot to put an artifact on him. So that is the run. That is the gear. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. If you appreciated this video, if you appreciate what I'm doing with the channel, please support it. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.